Hi, it's James Abila. Hey, it's Roger Sanchez. Hey, what's up? I'm Armin Van Buren. Tom Middleton. Dave Seaman. Fergie. Steve Angelo. Paul Wolford. Hey guys, I'm Marcus Schultz. This is Goldie, and you're in tune, and you're listening to DJ Sounds. Hi, this is Eddie Halliwell. This is Tayo. I'm laid back Luke. Hi, this is Joaquin Garo, and you are watching DJSound.com. Remember, the invasion has just begun. You're listening to Dan Tate on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show on Ibiza Sonica. People from all over the world. And yes, we're back here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show with one Mr. Roger Sanchez. How are you, Roger? Very good, Dan. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Third year. Yes. You're back, you're back here. Have you got yes. anything special for us? I've got a lot of new special things. Been working very uh, diligently in the studio this summertime. Several collaborations that I've been working on. One which is a collaboration I did with Cascade and Danny Jones from McFly that's going to be coming out in the fall, uh, hopefully soon. Just finishing that up. Working on a brand new, very artistic project I'm doing called Architecture, where basically I've I studied architecture early on uh, in my career. And one of the things I've been kind of buzzing inside my head is creating these tracks based on these architects and their designs. So kind of translating a building into an actual track. Oh, wow. Yeah, I did one called Zaha Hadid. I just finished one called Tadawando, and I'm just kind of on the roll to try to get this architecture project done. So beats and buildings. Beats and buildings is a foundation for everything. How would an MC Escher style building come out? You know what the thing <laughs> is that I'm working from the architects, not from the from the artists. So yeah, you got to think yeah. the other sorry, way around. Sorry, it's sorry, all good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's more like what would a Frank Gehry building sound like? Or what about the Guggenheim? <laughs> exactly, that? that's a Frank Gehry building. You <laughs> right, nailed it right okay. on the head. That's what I, that's one of the ones I'm working on right now. It's very awesome. kind of like deep techie ambient it's just i've got no parameters for this project it's really whatever You've just blown it wide open what whatever whatever inspires me from these buildings and it's very very interesting so it's labor of love excellent and also must be nice to just come back to your roots as well i think for me this summertime has been really really good to kind of reconnect even more with my kind of latin you know jack and house vibes and i've been having some fantastic sets on the terrace of space this summertime on that type of sound and you know it's great to see that really have a resurgence this summertime excellent and um obviously the animals back yes yes man yes is that what you would kind of say personifies that kind of sound i think so i think the s man has always been a little bit more the one that lurks in the darker caves of my subconscious and you know pops his head up whenever he really wants to bring up something underground i you know i've got a lot of different shades and colors to the music i write and produce but i think the thing that really always fills me has got that root and soul that root and latin that root and tribal and it's just really you know what drives me i mean how do you kind of um you know how do you know when you're going to let him out because it's kind of i find it i don't have any idea he just kind it, of pops it, up no, when no, he no, wants but to it's that, kind of that, <laughs> that you know what came first the chicken or the egg yeah you know the kind of the you know when you're playing somewhere and people expect a certain sound yeah. from you and that might be built up from experiencing you say yeah. five years ago yeah. or it might be just your last track how do you know kind of like because i i think that a lot of our viewers would really like to kind of know exactly you know when to kind of take it that way and how to understand the crowd it really is very much based on who's in front of me and I, everything for me goes on it's kind of like a Jedi night I go by the force I really really feel music very emotionally and when I see a crowd in front of me I tend to have a vibe of which part of my sound I'm going to go to I like to embody house music in a lot of different forms um, but there's definitely something that I know when I can really take it further underground with some venues and others you know it's just you know there's some places that are more leaning towards that um, and it's, I can never tell you before I walk in, unless it's a place that I've played before, but I, once I'm there, I tend to feel it out. You just see a couple of people sort of nodding in a certain way, reacting to certain hooks or certain things that you're doing, and you're like, oh, okay. And it's, and it's, all, go and it, and it's also, there's an energy. Yeah. There's, you know, sometimes there'll be a DJ playing before me. It depends on what, you know, where they've taken it. I'm still going to take it in my direction, but it'll give me a sense of how I have to do it. It depends on when I walk into the room. Awesome. So, I mean, 
you know, you just asked me before while we were off air how, you know, how long you were going to play for. Yeah. Now, was that kind of like a little thing of like, okay, I'm going to do peak trough, peak trough, 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 peak, or, no. you know, it, am I going to do like, okay, 10 tracks, but I'm going to peak it at the end, or... To be honest with you, it's just for me to gauge an idea to have an overall general view of where I, I mean, want to take it. The, it I, 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 never, I never try to pre-plan my set. This is very important. A lot of DJs have a very set. You know, if I'm doing a live show, it's one thing. If I'm doing performance with a live band, a live artist. But when I'm playing, I never set any limitations or any specific any specific guideline as to this is what I'm going to play at this point in time. I literally have a general vibe and then I really very much feel it as I go along. I have no idea what I'm going to play now. So it'll be just as much <laughs> a surprise to me as it is to you. But I think it keeps it fresh. Awesome, awesome. Because I've always found kind of with a radio show that it, it could be very easy to go be quite yeah. self-indulgent because yeah. there's no one to piss off. Yeah, well, you, you know, know what? <laughs> there's, that, there's no one you could play with. But it's good to do of... that, and it's at the same time, it's also good to kind of imagine a crowd in front of you. Imagine yeah. people right in front of you. What would you, what would your vibe be? What are you trying to do today? Excellent. Well, without further ado, Roger, I think the we need to get you into Absolutely. the mix. Let me get in the mix. DJ Roger Sanchez. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it my all to you. No, I don't wanna do business. Treat me right in the dying that you give me life. Say it's fine as I, 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 I need you to 
where the problem area lies. I can think it lies in taking too much. It lies in taking too little. Because if you take too little, you can resist it.
Dynamo is most definitely in the house. I think Roger's really well and truly let him out of his cage. This is Roger Sanchez here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show.
Heavy, heavy, heavy. Mr. Roger Sanchez, I have seen you a lot of times, but... Whew. You enjoyed that. Thank you. I loved it. I really, no, I had fun. You know, I always imagine people in front of me and just vibing with it. That was heavy. Yeah, it was I cool. mean, <laughs> do you think uh, the landscape has changed slightly in the last, say, the last three years since yeah, you've been so. coming on the show? I think that, so. That, you know, you can do the heavy tribal thing and kind of people are... It's just a lot more on their wavelength now. They kind of, they understand there a lot more. It's interesting, it's like, my sound now is kind of like taking on elements of tech house, tribal house, straight ahead jacking house. And it's kind of like back to my roots. And I think that the tribal vibe is in there and it's it's definitely something that people appreciate with a Latin influence in there, of course. I mean, I know that we've spoken about, you know, the S-Man and the animal and stuff, yeah. but are you, are you going to kind of like expand upon that? Maybe like an alter ego that you, you, you know, you seriously, I'm not talking like a dub fire thing because, you know, that yeah. was very extreme, but, yeah. you know, just something where you can go out I would and love not to. be kind of, yeah. Focus you know, on that. have, you know, the heavy Roger Sanchez, you know. I know what you mean. I, I, I think it's, there are certain places where it's really the way that I play I mean it's interesting it's almost like I'm split into two sometimes but it's something that I've definitely been much more expanding on and I think as I do releases people will begin to see exactly what that persona is and I'm definitely gearing a lot more towards that it's almost like both of the two worlds are coming back again together so even though it's I still have my bigger room and more and more underground stuff it's really becoming much more my underground vibe so it's kind of like the S-Man is starting to take over. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Yeah, that's Hyde. That's it, man. It's all Mr. Hyde right about now. <laughs> okay, now off camera, we had a bit of fun. Like, uh, you know, every now and again, I show you some new stuff. Yes, and we toys. jam a little bit and stuff. CDJ 2000 Nexus. Sick. That's all I'm going to say. It's sick. I definitely feel that they've put, you pioneers put a lot into, a lot of thought into things that are really convenient for us as DJ. I mean, everybody is kind of really a little bit, you know, hyped about the whole sync button, which is like, oh, it's auto mix. Fair enough. That makes life a little bit easier. Maybe some people who don't normally know how to mix this will help them kind of get it all along. But, you know, if you're a purist, if you're somebody who actually understands the art of turntablism and of, of playing records and of playing CDs and of just playing music, there's so many more features in there that allow you to expand upon what you can do and just makes it a lot easier. Okay, I mean, on the record, on sync. The record. Well, sync is something very, very interesting because it will absolutely lock tracks right together. I mean, you do have to do your homework. You do have to scan everything into record box and you do have to make sure that all the lines line up uh, when it maps it out as a grid. I play with four decks and I play usually without that and I manage to do it. This will actually make it a little bit easier if I want to lock loops and maybe throw float an acapella and so on and so forth. Uh, will I play with sync? Possibly, but I tend to like sync loops and do beats and everything on my own and I play with four decks at the same time. So for me, it just makes it a little bit easier to lock things. I mean, to be honest, it's probably another one of those things where it's taken it away from you and now you're actually like, okay, so that's taken care of. What are we going to do now? It's interesting because I probably won't abuse it as maybe some other people might. And it's not even necessarily, it's not an abuse. It's it's a feature that's yeah. built in. Um, but what it allows me to do is, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm even more excited about the... Uh, the uh, the way you the slip, the slip and the looping and just the the things that I'm playing with and everything coming right back in on time that's going to be sick because I really will get a chance to really play the CDJ like a piano almost or like a keyboard so it's going to be really interesting to do that awesome awesome now what does the rest of the year bring because you've had a crazy summer haven't you it's been insane I mean the thing is that it's 
pretty much building up in intensity. I'm really very focused in on my collaborations. As I said, I've done something with Cascade and with Danny Jones. I've done something with Christina Milian. There's a Spanish artist named Nalaya that I'm doing some stuff with. Um, some of the possible collaborations with people that I've just given some tracks to. Plus, I've just done something with Proc and Fitch as the S-Man, a track called Take You There. That's gonna drop in the fall. Um, and I'm doing a, just a lot of production and this architecture project is really taking on steam. So I'm very focused in on my studio work, but then still touring. And still come calling Los Angeles home. Right now, LA is kind of like, I'm back and forth, really between New York, LA and Ibiza right now. So it's kind of, Cause she, I, 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 I had a little look at your diary, and you've been spending a bit of time back on the island. Haven't yeah, you? because I, it I, must be one of those really frustrating things. I mean, how long have you had your house here? I mean, I've had, I've had, I've had a, a house in Ibiza for years. I bought a house a few years ago, and the, the reality is that. I rarely get a chance to spend enough time in it. This year, I've actually had a chance to do a couple of sessions, like the studio work, and you know, it's nice to take a day or two off. It's like Carl there. Cox and his motorbikes. Yeah, he has I mean, motorbikes everywhere, but he can't. He, never, he doesn't he have the time it. to ride them. I mean, this is the reason why I don't have motorbikes because <laughs> I just like my wife drew a line and said, "You can have this car, but no, you're not doing anything else because when are you going to ride it?" I'm like, "Yeah, there's a point." Okay, so so Abifa, you've been it's a bit of a chance to reconnect again. Yes, absolutely. And this year's been very important for me to do that. I mean so I mean space must have actually offered you up a lot more freedom. What it allowed it, it didn't kinda of lock you in every week. I mean that's really what it allowed me to do is to gig out more across Europe, which means my schedule was even more intense. Um, and then I'll see how I want to take it next year if I want to do the weekly thing or I, I, I kind of like the bi-weekly thing. You've been mixing it up a bit, haven't you? Because normally you yeah. hold the decks for seven hours. Yeah, Where, yeah. you know, you've been letting Mosaic and Proc and Fitch and been letting other, other guys play. from the stable. I, so. th I think what I probably would want to do next year is if I do take on a weekly thing, I think I'm going to continue allowing guest DJs to play, but maybe once a month hug the decks for yeah. seven hours and let it all out and then continue I think that's how that's, <laughs> let it all that, out that, brilliant that's, that's how we'll do it let the let the S-man out of his cage for a few awesome awesome so up to the end of the year going back to LA not really around Europe too much or back and forth actually I'm going to be back I play Ministry of Sound in October uh, and then I'm doing ADE uh, and then we've got much more to do. I've, I'm going to South America to Brazil in November, which is going to be fun. Brazil, Argentina, Chile. So I always got to do my South American runs and rounds. And uh, really looking forward to it. Awesome. Roger, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you. So this is Dan Tate here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show. Very proud to have Mr. Roger Sanchez and the animal here in the mix, back to back, <laughs> however you want to put it. Anyway, we've had a fantastic summer, but as I said before, we're continuing all the way through until the end of the year and beyond, both here in Ibiza and our London studio, crossing many different genres. Now, one thing that I want to throw out there is that we monitor the comments quite a lot. We look at what you guys are saying and we want to know who you want to come on the show. We want to know which people you are crying out for because, you know, we've had Roger three times. We, you know, we love having him. We've had Luke a couple of times, but who do we really need to get? Which fresh up and coming face do we need here on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show? So let us know in the comments uh, or just anywhere through all of our channels on Twitter, Facebook, follow us. Um, and also, as I say before, almost kind of like that nagging parent, keep that firmware up to date, especially with the new CDJ2000 Nexus dropping. Uh, we've got some very special shows coming up soon with those. I cannot wait to see what these guys are going to be doing with them. Anyway, this is Dan Tate signing out for another amazing session here on Ibiza Sonica on the Pioneer DJ Sound Show. Goodbye.